All right, welcome back. So in the previous video, it was a bit of a doozy. We took a look at stereo tracks, mono tracks, some things to keep in mind when we adjust the spread and when we adjust the size parameter. Also, we took a look at, we did a basic move for adjusting the drums and the bass. I'm happy with where those are. We have our LFE bus that we've created, and that will allow us to very quickly send anything to the LFE. And I've also pre-filtered that. If you're looking for more information on this, you can find that actually on my YouTube channel. I've got two detailed videos which go over that. But I want to try to kind of keep this brief and keep this moving along. Okay, so for the percussion, let's actually move over to my fader port now. For the percussion, we have two different choices. We have the actual bus, I'm going to close my console. I'm going to open up this folder track. And then if we go to zoom, we can zoom everything down. We've got a lot of different options in terms of our percussion. So if I move across here, we do have a lot of tracks. Um, I want to try to keep this fairly simple. So the other thing that we did, let's maybe mute this percussion for a moment, is that if we go to this track over here and we solo this, this is a stereo print. So I think what we'll do is we'll open up the mixer and I want to take a look at, I'm going to use one third party plugin in this whole entire course, because I think for the most part that Studio One ships with everything that you will ever need. But with respect to working with stereo stems and what a lot of people are going to be sending you is you're going to be getting stereo stems. In those cases, it makes sense to have something that can up mix. Now we could do this by duplicating or we could do this by doing what I did in the very first example of the video, where we basically adjusted the size parameter, we changed the panning, we added elevation, but then we are going to have to constantly be readjusting the gain structure. So for this, I'm going to use something which I am demoing out right now and I really like it and it is called Halo Upmix. And the way that this works is basically you have a track and truthfully I already experimented with this ahead of time to see if I liked it or not. So you have a track that by default was set to stereo. So by default this track is stereo and this is exactly how it's playing. But if I move over this plugin over here and again we're going to be opening up our level meter and we're going to be opening up our mix tool. Take note that this is left and right. That's all it is. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the track type and I'm going to change it from, from stereo. We're going to change it to 7.1.4. This automatically triggers the VST3 version to update. Now this is loaded the stock default preset. I like it. The only thing I want to do is I, I don't want the LFE to be part of this. So now if we take a listen to this now, the same percussion track, Notice what's happening here. Notice now we have, let me dim this for a second. Now we have a left, right, center. We have no LFE because we turned the LFE off. We have left surround, right surround, and then we have left rear surround, left top front, right top front, and then basically not much rear. Okay. So the great thing about using an upmix plugin though, is that if we listen to the source, we can now toggle to the upmix. In terms of the downmix compatibility, there are a perfect downmix. So the benefit of using an upmix plugin versus changing your size, changing your spread and everything like that, is that the full down to stereo and the binaural, that if you are very much wanting to work with your gain structure and you're worried about you know drastically changing the balance of different things, if you work with an upmix plugin like Halo Upmix, then basically you are guaranteed that you're gonna have that beautiful translation. Now we can still tweak this a little bit further. Like if I wanted to go into the IO section, I could tweak these to my heart's content or another thing I can do, take a look at this. We don't have too much of the left top rears. I could bring this up. I'm, I'm changing the perspective. I'm changing the balance of things. Or we could use a combination between all of these. Another thing that we could do is we could take the center out altogether. If you don't want any center in these, which I don't, to be honest, I don't want any center. If I do this, now I've just taken the center out completely. The center is left, so it's just creating this spread. That to me actually sounds pretty nice, but I think what we'll do is we'll go back to the default. We'll go over here and we'll just double click this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the LFE off and I'm gonna kill the center by doing this. So now, in terms of what we hear, if we go between the bus, it's kind of boring, just a basic left and right stereo. 
Now we have everything. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this in full volume on my system. I'm gonna have a quick listen, and I'm gonna to listen to that actually against the drums and the bass. So I'm gonna close everything, and we wanna be making sure that we're listening to our drums, our bass, and also our percussion. We're, in terms of the percussion, we are going to be listening to percussion stem with Halo Up Mix. <laughs> Now, the other important thing is that we need to scroll all the way down. I have solo, I have my solo link to my track selection, which isn't the nicest workflow when you're working with a, with a Studio One and a fader port, especially when you use a scroll bar because it changes the solo. But for now, I'm going to leave it up. QMP, long live the Kingfish, still number one today. Got a new one back to Rouge Born. Okay. So it honestly sounds pretty close, pretty similar in terms of what we're listening to, drums, bass, and these percussions over here. Okay, so that already sounds really great. We haven't done too much. We've done drums, bass, and percussion, and we included our LFE send. I think that's working. In the next video, let's move on, and maybe we'll pull in a lead vocal, and we'll take a look at the drums, and or rather, the keys and the guitars. So we'll catch you for more in the next video. Cheers.